Ready to cook with the dummy cook? Let's make bread in less than 10 minutes. And we only need four ingredients, flour, yeast, salt, and water. And what's the cost of this? Psh, nothing. What are we gonna do? We're going to go to Kukaidu and we're going to choose the bread that we want to make, Portuguese bread, and we're going to say cook today. You see, now it's going to be in my calendar and waiting for me in the Thermomix. Then we're going to come here and we're going to go to my week and my recipes for the day are gonna be waiting for me. Here's the bread. I'm going to click here and I'm going to say start cooking. So let's do something. Let's put a timer right here. Ooh, I love that trick. And now it's only gonna move when I'm involved in the recipe. That way you can see that the bread will take its time, obviously, but my time will be under 10 minutes. Let's do it. Okay, so it says 550 grams of water. I'm going to start adding. And as you can see, the scale is going to be changing until we get to 550. When we're doing bread or pizza, this is like chemistry. You want to be accurate, okay? So we're getting there, 245 and 53. Okay, almost accurate. <laughs> then we're gonna click next and it says 720 grams of flour. Okay, here we go with the flour. And yes, I know I could have pre-weighted it, but I want you to see how I use the scale. If I'm prepping everything first, then I feel like I'm cheating. So no, you're gonna see it live. All right, and 23, wow, that is very accurate now because everything is equal. <laughs> and then we're gonna go next, and it says that it wants to be covered. Okay, you wanna be covered? Here you are. And now we're gonna go next, and it says 20 seconds, not temperature yet, yet and intensity is gonna be six. All righty, 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Okay, let's see what's going on. Leave to hydrate for 40 minutes. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, so it's been 40 minutes. Here we have the same bowl of dough and let's see what it wants. It wants one TSP of yeast. So let's do that. And what else? 10 grams of salt. Okay, so let's do it here. Let's go for 10. 10 grams of salt. Now we're going to insert, we're gonna cover it and we're going to wait six minutes. Now it's going to be kneading for six minutes and I'm going to stay here so the timer is gonna stay here as well. Almost done. These six minutes I did stay here because when you're kneading is when you want to be close to the Thermomix just in case it goes dancing, dancing out of the table. This is a white table so you should be fine. But anyway, I did stay here and now I'm going to show you how we're gonna be done with the kneading. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine all the work that I would be doing if she was not doing that? All right, so we're done. That was six minutes. Let's see what we got. And now, oh my goodness, this is a cute dough. Look at that. You see the dough? Okay, let's see what the next step is. It says, let it rest in here for two hours. Again, like I said, that bread is gonna take its time, but not your time. So, see you in two hours. Two hours later. Okay, it's been two hours and let's see. Oh my goodness, look at this. You see how it's fluffy outside and coming out? Ah! Look at this. I'm sure a little kid would love to help me now with this gooey dough. Look at it. It is so cute. <laughs> okay, let's dump it over here. And if I twist the bottom, it helps me release it from the plates. Oops. <laughs> That's where the dummy cook comes in handy. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hand in this. Just wash them again. They're all good. And I'm gonna get all of this out. Look at that. <laughs> oh, and we're gonna do a bonus run later where we're gonna wash it. I mean, no, she's gonna wash it, not me. And now, if you're a very experienced chef, don't criticize me. <laughs> don't judge because I'm just gonna 
Massage it a little and move it a little. Try not to break the bubbles. And I'm gonna make a little round area holding the seams on the bottom like that. Okay, you see, that's cute. Now when I get to the kitchen, because have you seen my fake kitchen here? <laughs> when I get to the real kitchen, we're gonna do a little slot with a knife. So follow me. I'm gonna make a little line here. I still don't know why, but I'll do it because that's what it said. <laughs> All right, we got it. Oh, sticky. And follow me. And here we go. Let's go to the oven. Whee! 20 minutes. It says 20 to 25, so I'm gonna take it out at 20. See you in a little bit. It's ready, let's see. Oh my goodness, it's such a cutie. Look at this cutie, oh my gosh. Here, 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 oh, uh, uh, it's hot. Let's cut it. Oh my, it's amazing, right? It's so cute. All right, so now we're gonna do the big uh, test of every bread, the sound. Let's put my microphone very, very close. <laughs> and let's cut a little bit and go. Look at this beauty! We oui. and look at the, <laughs> the smoke, it's still hot. And the smell, I wish you were here. You cannot smell it, I can. And you cannot taste it! That's another thing. I'm going to taste it right now. Mm. I have a little bit of raspberry jam that I also made with Thermomix. Let me get a big piece here. You see, my jam, this is my jam. But I just need a little bit to taste it because, you know, I mean, I could eat bread with bread, but <laughs> let's have something on it. Ooh, and this jam is so good as well. well. We'll do the video as well, so you can see how easy it is to make jam. But anyway, are you jealous right now? I know, I am jealous of myself right now, look. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I really wish you were here. Whoa. You know, these are my wow moments with Thermomix. Every single time. I've been using it for two years and every day I still go, wow. So here's one of them. Uh -oh. So will you be making bread very soon? I hope so. If you have any questions about Thermomix, here I am. You can email me right here and please like this video, subscribe to my channel and ask me anything about Thermomix. I'll be there for you and I'll help you be a very happy customer like I am. Goodbye. Okay, and now that we're done, we're gonna go for some bonus material. We're going to say finish here, and we're going to ask the Thermomix to clean herself. Uh, it's a pre-wash, okay? You still have to rinse it. Okay, so we're gonna go to the modes, and we're gonna say the pre-clean mode, and we need to remember how dirty it was. Okay, so we're going to put water up to the half mark. So let me do that really quick. Oh, I cannot even see the mark with all this dough around. Okay, it's okay. And then we're gonna put shish, a, little, a little bit of dishwasher. You can also put vinegar. All right, so we're gonna put it back here and shish. And now we're gonna choose the option dough. Here we don't go. So it has an option for short wash, dough wash, for caramelized, you know, like things that are uh, fat or caramel, for browning, or it has a normal one that is called universal. So different modes are gonna take different times, and some of them are gonna add a lot of heat to the bottom to release the caramel or the dough in this case, and you're gonna hear it in a little bit going Every time I explain it, people go, what? How does it go? Yeah, it goes So right now it's gonna start moving. It's gonna be five minutes. So when it's over, I'm going to show you how it was. These were not gonna time it because my timer was for the bread. Now we're washing while we're eating, so that doesn't count, okay? I'll see you in five minutes and we'll see how clean she is. <laughs> Bye. Hey, there you are. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, and now I have to show you, I mean, Right now it's all foam, right? Come over with me. Let me show you over there. Now let's rinse it. So like I said, this is a lot of foam. So we're gonna dump it and we're gonna rinse it all around. That's a little water and Oh my goodness, out of a factory, right? It's super clean. It's obviously a pre-wash. I'm gonna do a little bit of, you know, washing my own, but I mean, that was a really good help, right? Oh, oh, oh. I wanna try something else. Um, uh, make it rain. Okay, uh, I want a million dollars! It's not working! Uh, 
it's wet. 